What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki Unboxes, we're going to take a look at this big ridiculous kit. And it is of course the Mobile Armor Hoshmal from IBO Season 2. And I've been sort of dreading getting this one just because I know it's a massive, massive kit. So let's get to it because I think this is this was like the the kind of changing point for a lot of things for Season 2, especially regarding our hero gundams as it were and it's a big it's a big kit it might be an hg kit but it's still very big and this box didn't want to stand up on its own so that's why i was kind of holding it so i gotta push it all the way back so i can actually see what the heck is going on all right well <laughs> definitely big pieces right off the bat okay and bags on the floor so first and foremost, we've got the huge like wing slash shoulder bits. So those up there. And things we didn't actually get to see in the series was like basically these are, I guess they're supposed to be like missile, missile container stuff like this because the, the mobile armors had tons of weaponry and we didn't get to see everything. Now this thing's going to have a ton of panel lining to do. So, wow. And of course, ginormous pieces for the most part. All right, so we've got central kind of frame because, I mean, the body itself is so small, but I'm guessing hips and shoulders connect in there. We've got smaller connections. God knows what they're all for. We've got some basic, these have to be shoulders or hips of some sort. Look how beefy they are. And you do get a little bitty antenna there for something. They're, they're surprisingly small parts on this. Now, I know this is a stand for it, or at least for... Um, Maybe the weapon. I don't actually know. No, because I know it has a giant stand. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It totally comes with a new sword for Barbatos that he doesn't actually use in the series. That's a pretty neat sword. If nothing else, I'll use that for a complete different kit. Um, he does have these big shoulder spikes, or uh, shoulder spikes, uh, foot spikes that are kind of Dine Slave like, but I don't think they're supposed to shoot. But I have to go back and look. They might have shot out. Oh, wow, we got some more huge joints right here and here. Um. Little bitty bits here and here. I wonder if those are part of the head or not. This is going to be a heck of a thing. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Ooh, okay. So here we have the huge tail, you know, blade. We've got these vents that are up here on the shoulder. Uh, these have got to be part of the wings. I thought they were part of the head, but no. That's that's gotta be part of the wings or something, tail maybe. I don't, I don't know. It's it's a thing for sure. Well, there's two of them, so it's gotta be the wings. Okay, and then you got some more vents right there. Big old pieces. Cool. All right. Now this one you would think because it's fairly unsophisticated it's not going to take long wrong I, this thing is so big it's probably gonna take forever all right a whole bunch of foil stickers um i'll have to really look at it to see if i'm going to use these because some of them i guarantee you i will other ones i might just go ahead and paint like these red stickers and this big eye sticker which i think is for yep okay that's for the other little dude that i probably will go ahead and use the uh stickers for I think the these look like they're going right here on the tail. Just to save time, I might do that. But we'll see what happens. Because there's a few parts I may or may not paint. Alright, so we got the nice salmon color here. So obviously this is going to be uh, on the kind of toe claws. This is going to be on the shoulders. That looks like it goes on... Oops, that looks like it goes on the beak there. Trying to figure out where it was, where where it's focusing. It's focusing on that gleaming part there. Okay, here we go. Here's some of the bird face here. We've got some more smaller parts, maybe back of the head. These are somewhere probably around the legs, if I had to guess. These are on the neck, and just that's kind of cool. And you got the huge beam effect, which is actually I think the exact same mold of some of the stuff they use for Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> But hey, they got to start somewhere. All right. Next up, we have ginormous base. 
Now, if I remember correctly, this is exactly the same kind of base you get with the MG Psycho Zaku Verka. If I, if I remember correctly, it's the exact same base. And this thing does need a big, hefty base. Obviously, it's huge. So, giant one-piece base part. It's actually just basically a huge HG stand is what it equates to. So, I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. Very easy. So, that would be a quick and, quick and dirty job there. You got the really super thick wire for the tail. Like, this is incredibly different compared to the, uh, the Barbatos Lupus Rex tail. Crud all over everything. And now we have more white parts and purple parts. Because, of course, it does come with one pluma. The word pluma was escaping me earlier. And bigs in the floor. So there's your pluma. Pretty simple. Uh, I think I'll probably end up having to paint the drill tail here. Um, I may or may not use that, um, that eye sticker, which I believe probably goes right here. We'll see. I'm not... This thing... It has a lot of molded detail. Look at that. Look at the surface detail on that. Probably get some gray paints after it. Looks like it might be somewhat articulate, too. I've got some elbows, a little hatch here for some reason. Of course, the big drill tail. Though that looks like it's going to move a little bit. It's got got a it's got a little C clip there. Probably need to rotate a little. Coolness. That should be fun. Ah, here we go. Here's these are definitely the legs. Definitely the legs of the the Hushmall. So you got definitely have to be some kind of arms with elbows. And of course, you've got the hoses because everything has a hose. Uh, all kinds of little bits here, and the white parts of the claws, so, yay. Yay! And instructions. Whoa, that's a thick book. That's definitely MG styled. God, I think it's cool. Okay, let me, let me read this real quick. Huh. Interesting read-up. Though I find it funny that they used a picture of the... The actual picture of the kit, but then here they used the animation model. That's pretty funny. That's huge, though. I mean, like, we, we saw it in the series. But it's funny that this kit gave it away. Like, we didn't know exactly what it was going to be. Okay, so there's a there's already a sticker right there. I might use some of the stickers. We'll see. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to paint parts of it. I mean, it's quote-unquote simple, but it's definitely not going to be easy. A lot of details, a lot of panel lining. Huge. <laughs> wow, there's a tail. So I'm guessing you could do... Looks like there might be an adapter for the tail so that you don't have to use the... I don't know. Now, now that I'm looking at it, no, I'm not sure. I would have thought that there was a way to put the tail in without the, or put the put the blade in without the actual tail parts. Oh, cool! The legs actually extend. Neat. Oh yeah, and the uh, quote-unquote flying mode that uh, we never actually saw in the show, but apparently it could do. Cool. New sword for Barbados. 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 Uh, Pluma looks pretty easy. This is cool, though. Okay, so we've definitely got some gray all over these things, so I'm going to have to bust out either one of my Gundam gray markers or my favorite dark gray ever. We shall see. I like that look. So you have the Pluma resting on the small stand and the tail going through there for effect. That's pretty neat. Cool. Oh, yeah, and this is going to be a problem because this whole section is molded in white, but it clearly shows it as gray, so... Definitely going to take some some work to make that fairly accurate. All right, let's put everybody back in the box so I can get to work. Yay. All the, all the things. All of the things. 
Oh yeah, and they, I love that they just completely undercut the beam, the beam weaponry on it. They're like, yeah, we, we developed a defense against that a long time ago, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, it doesn't know that. Ah, big box, for what it is. I'm probably not going to Hey, look at that, it actually stands now. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm going to get this thing built up. Make sure you stick around for that review, which will be soon soon yeah <laughs> but guys of course i want to thank my patrons as always john andy steve you guys are awesome thank you all as always for your support and if you guys want feel like supporting the channel a little bit further right here on the screen i'm going to work on new perks for patreon in this year oh and guys as i'm making this video just crested 1500 or 1500 subscribers that's awesome so if you guys are new here Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Shoki family or community or whatever this is, technically. <laughs> and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, of course. And I'll catch you guys on the actual review. And remember, as always, keep on building.